We are all connected to everyone and everything in the universe. Therefore, everything one does as an individual affects the whole. All thoughts, words, images, prayers, blessings, and deeds are listened to by all that is. This is amazing. Sue and I were um, here in the campground last night. It's pretty quiet in here right now, and we were thinking, um, well, actually, you know, we just came and uh, walked around in the dark, and we sat in a couple of the campsites and just, uh, you know, thinking, meditating on things and whatever. And, uh, you know, we saw some firewood, and we were thinking, geez, you know, we should come here and have a little fire, maybe not camp for the night. But, um, you know, sit around and have a fire. So we were in here today. And we see them leaving all this kindling and all this firewood at all these different sites. And we're thinking, okay, well, you know, probably humans did it. Boy, that guy's noisy. But uh, in any event, you know, so look at what we found here. This is insanely cool. There's the Y stick, man, Sasquatch, all one, all connected. But look at the rock they got. Propped up there. That's a fairly substantial rock, too. <laughs> it's just propped up there. <laughs> you know, the rock, well, the man Sasquatch, there we go. There's my friend. Man Sasquatch, you know, the, uh, the Y stick, two shafts, man, Sasquatch, long shaft, all connected. But the rocks, one rock will uh, also um, represent one individual. So that would represent the individual who put that there, in my opinion. But the Sasquatch people reside in a higher vibration or a higher vibrational state. That state is one of no judgment. It's where all the petty nonsense that preoccupies humans, like judging, envy, hatred, all those lower vibrational energies cannot exist in that higher vibrational state that the Sasquatch people reside in. And that is why they are here at this time. They are here at this time to teach those of us who have the hearts to listen, that we are all one and all connected. And when you truly feel that, when you truly feel that and reside on that vibration of no judgment, that higher vibration, then that is when you can actually envision the conscious shift that people talk about and humanity actually changing. Because all the lower vibrational things that occupy us at this time cannot exist on that higher state of consciousness. And that is how the the lasting change will occur, in my opinion, when the balance is tilted and enough of us can be on that higher vibration of no judgment. Here you go, my friend. There you go. Ah. I just saw you fly by. Awesome. The ravens are very, very magical out here. They have an amazing connection with the Sasquatch people. I can't say how many times I've heard the ravens calling and being nearby and 
something magical happened or something Sasquatch related they're like messengers wow always love it when they come by they make so many different sounds they just made oh there he is They make a lot of different sounds. He was making some different sounds earlier, but he's just doing a standard call right now. But so nice to see him. I think that the greatest wish that I could personally have for anybody else would be for them to feel that feeling of all one and all connected. Because once you felt that, you can't help but change. And the way we're going to change is by one person at a time. Sounds cliche, but one person at a time making the changes within themselves. I do feel that all these lower vibrational distractions that keep us there are just that, distractions. And they prevent us from getting to the place, the only place, and the only thing that is really important, and that is that knowing of being all one and all connected. Living in that higher vibrational state of no judgment. That is where the change will happen. That is where the change will come. And I do believe that we will get there eventually. It's turning into quite the magical day. Uh, Sue, Sue and I, they're, they're, <laughs> they're doing what they often do in here. They're leading us from campsite to campsite and they're, they're leaving stuff behind for us. It's just like we're drawn to go someplace and, and there it is. This is, this, I guess some people call it the fish or whatever. I'm not sure, but the the oval, the long oval kind of thing with the end crossed uh, is a sign for Sue and I's, our connection. Sorry for the English, but the connection for Sue and I, that's my personal message. Like I said, they're all personal if they're interacting with you. So don't misinterpret that I'm saying that the glyphs all over the world are all about me. No, that's, that's certainly not true. Uh, they're personal to you. If they're interacting with you through glyphs, they will interact with you according to the understanding between you and them. Uh, it's a telepathic energy kind of thing. So anyway, there is Sue's and my glyph uh, of our connection. I've, I've seen that for years. That's what it means for me. And there it is combined with the Y, which is man. Sasquatch and the long shaft is all one all connected so man and Sasquatch are connected Sue and I are connected and we are connected to them it's a pretty powerful message and there's my little lady that I'm connected to right there <laughs> and uh, wow it's um, when they start leading you from place to place and then they're showing you stuff like this this is it's intense energy it's amazing it's absolutely tingling with energy wow so once again thank you for listening and uh, you know I'll be honest with with all of you if uh, if I was a guy just looking at this video or one of my videos or whatever and I'm a very open mind always been a very open-minded person uh, I would tend to say this guy is off his rocker <laughs> but um, Hey, take it for what it is. It is what it is, and um, I want to thank you all for listening.
Talking to the forest, talking from my heart, talking to my people. In order to truly love another, we must first learn to love ourselves. All the answers are found within. <laughs>